It isn't very often these days that um, a person's going to need to build his own Susan, but it happens. It could come to the point where you, you want to make a Susan just because you want to do it. You want to make it out of your own wood, you want it to look just like you want it, or you have a, a place where you want to put a Susan that doesn't fit anything that's available on the market. Then you need to build your own Susan. Well, this video is about how you do that. How can you go about building your own uh, Lazy Susan and the hardware that you would use for that. The hardware pack includes instructions that are easy to follow to install. Uh, this um, set of hardware called the WR14H by port number. Well, uh, pretty simple. Uh, you have a, a bottom plate which screws to the floor of your uh, cabinet and then a small ball bearing that drops into that for a pivot. On top of that is this uh, high impact plastic now that sits right on top of the ball bearing. And then this pipe, uh, which is uh, uh, called a WP-19, it's an inch and 32nd in diameter with a 13 uh, inside diameter. Set it on there, it uh, rotates very nicely. Then uh, on top of that, you put the other plastic piece in there and drop this piece in. And there's a little clip here that, that clips on to lock it in place, uh, a key. So that it's a very nice piece, uh, a post and pivot hardware for installing a Lazy Susan uh, that you make by yourself. Well, uh, so you make the Lazy Susan and uh, how do you attach it to this pipe? We'll talk about that next. The post uh, uh, fits inside of these plates. Uh, we have two styles. This one's called the WR14B. It sits on the pipe like this, and then you drop your shelf on top of that. So you would, you would screw this to the bottom of your shelf. Now, I don't particularly like this plate uh, as much as I do this one, and I'll tell you why. First of all, this plate goes to the bottom. Your wood shelf sits here, and then your set screw for locking the shelf is under your wooden shelf. So if you're down at the bottom, it's real hard to get at this set screw and tighten this up. Whereas uh, if you use this plate called WSB2, then uh, uh, you slide it on the pipe and your wood shelf goes on top of this and take a look at there. Your set screw comes through. Let me show you how that uh, works in the practical application on a piece of wood. Now for this round uh, mounting plate, uh, for mounting the shelf that you built, uh, you have to drill a hole in the, your uh, Susan. Uh, the hole in the center here needs to be an inch and a sixteenth. It can be bigger if you want. It doesn't. It isn't real critical because this plate has the hole size. And then you mount that on the bottom of the shelf, right here. This round plate is our best seller, but it isn't my favorite plate. Um, I'll show you why. Uh, and, uh, and it's your decision to make. So uh, we have to have a hole, as, as I mentioned here, minimum of an inch and a sixteenth. And it's not super critical uh, because uh, this pipe, as long as it's centered, or this plate, as long as it's centered, uh, you don't have much to worry about. So let me screw that plate on there and we'll get a look at that. And here's how your shelf goes on, like this. Now, on the upper shelf, up here, maybe it's okay, but down here, uh, on, the bottom, on the bottom shelf, you got to figure out how to get this set screw in there. So uh, you got to figure out how to get under here. If you want to get this shelf real low, how do you get under there to tighten this set screw? That's my complaint. Still, we sell more of these than we do with the other one. So. They're evidently satisfied with it. But now let me show you why I like this other one, which, which is the WSB2. I know why they're not buying this plate, because they think it's they think this plate is made for a pie cut Susan, but it, it's gonna work. Uh, nobody's cutting their their Susans that deep in in, in uh, to the point where they need this notch. It'll work for a round Susan, it'll work for anything. So uh, let me show you why I like that plate. Uh, 
And now we're going to take a look at why I prefer this plate, the WSB2, over this one, which is the uh, WR14B plate. Uh, the best seller, and I think the reason it's the best seller is because this one appears to be made for a pie cut Susan, but it'll work uh, on a round Susan as well. So let me show you uh, what I think is. Uh, it is the feature that makes this the golden plate. So uh, inch and a half hole is required here, and this drops through like that into the into the bottom of the cabinet and attach these. Now the plate is under the Lazy Susan and the set screw is on the top. And you can turn this plate, you can have the set screw facing whatever direction you want on this. In this particular, in this case, uh, I have the set screw at the back. I wish I would have turned it so the set screw is at the front. Doesn't make any difference. Or you could turn it so the set screw is at the side. Uh, my reason for liking this plate so much is that when you're on the bottom shelf, you can go all the way down with the shelf and have easy access to the set screw. So my recommendation is when you're buying the mountain plate for, and you're making your own Susan, drill an inch and a half hole in the bottom, use the WSB2 so your set screw will always be at the top and easy to access. That's my tip on this thing. Then, then you use these cool parts. Um, the bottom plate, this cute little ball bearing, go like that. This is the plate that appeals to me. Uh, you can spin it in any direction on here. And uh, the nice thing about the, uh, this pl particular plate is, as I mentioned, the set screws on the top. So you put your pivot under the tray, and put the post into the pivot, set your shelf wherever you want it, and you don't have to try to find some way to get under the box and tighten the set screw up. It's right here, right here in your face uh, to tighten it. Real nice uh, application. You can do that on all the shelves, as many as you want. And as I said, you can use uh, any uh, pipe here. Uh, this round one, uh, you can use a pipe that's an inch and a sixteenth in diameter but you cannot use it with the one that I prefer. Here you have to use an inch and one thirty second or a one inch pipe to make this work. But this is, this is a dream plate as far as I'm concerned.